The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. Marissa Alexander turned 33 two weeks ago. The mother of three fired a gun into the ceiling to scare an abusive ex-husband. Under the state's minimum mandatory law, Alexander was sent to prison for 20 years. The case has become a focal point for changing the state's 1020 life law. She fired a warning shot. No one was harmed, yet she's in jail for 20 years. That's wrong. You should not have to shoot somebody in order to protect yourself and not be prosecuted. State Senator Dwight Bullard has written the Governor and Clemency Board asking Alexander be pardoned and released. I deny restoration of civil rights. The board met Wednesday. The case wasn't on the agenda, but Bullard showed up anyway. Hopefully by the presence uh, of me being there that the Clemency Board begins to acknowledge the fact that people are watching. An application for clemency is not a public record according to the rules for clemency, but we have confirmed that Marissa Alexander has submitted the paperwork. Alexander's case has sparked protests in Jacksonville and drawn national attention. The task force studying Stand Your Ground said changes to the 1020 life law should permit self-defense. Uh, a young woman in fear for her life, uh, suffering from battered wife syndrome, um, chose to uh, fire really a warning shot. Alexander has been behind bars for 16 months. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Nasalinda reporting.